Oh, here we go. Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Oh, God. Oh, let's go! <laughs> this is so cool! Yes, finally! Let's go fast. Ooh. Fast but risky, slow but easy, fast. Yeah. So fast. Oh, this is so sick. Fast but risky, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> this is awesome. Look out. Oh, shout out to Josh Searle, JC, stunt guy. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, where'd he scan, go? Scan, scan. Dig deep, the past one. Yes, please. Oh. Way. <laughs> oh shit! Yes. Oh my god! On top of the train. Hey, I'm catching this. This is so fucking cool. Chance of survival, 89%. Wait, you'll be all right at you? Sorry, Hank. What up, though? Please. I've done nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. Got it. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You <laughs> <Little> bastard. <laughs> you saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your yes. fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. You had I understand you're upset. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Sorry, Hank, but... 11% chance you're gonna right. die, I gotta let you go. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. You're just their slave. I said, shut up! All right. Come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. Uh... Lose more suspects that way. Uh... Fuck it, Andrew. Oh, man, he's mad at you now. Oh. Yeah, he's mad. Sorry, Hank. You lost the suspect. 
I lost the suspect, but 89% chance of survival. It's pretty high. Yeah, if if the probability Hanks is going to live is higher than... I think you should have told him that. 60? Yeah. <clears throat> wow. That, that was so cool. That was a fun scene. I'm, I'm just going to say that, obviously, I've been watching this game with you and all this stuff, but, like... It's weird watching your friend be a badass. Dude, it's, it's, it's a little cool. strange. It's with the help of, uh, you know, 200 people at Quantic Dream that made me a lot more badass. Uh, shout out, especially, exclamation point JC in the chat. That'll get you to Jean-Charles, who did all that awesome, uh, you know, a lot of the awesome stuff. There's multiple people that worked on that, but there you go. Uh, oh. That's incredible. That's really, 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 really cool. Uh, so the... Um, Everyone's... Uh, Definitely talking about the decisions. People are like, redo it, redo it, save yeah. Hank. You're a total badass. No, I'm not redoing it, guys. This is one playthrough. We're doing this all live. I am thinking about doing, if you guys are down for it, another uh, playthrough where we go and explore all the different outcomes. And uh, I'd like to do some where we like bend the character one way or the other intentionally. Like but yeah, uh, yeah we're going we're gonna to stick with one playthrough because we want to see what our choices add up to. Um, I can tell you some fun facts. Uh, the wink was um, totally improv, and uh, even uh, David Cage wasn't so sure about it, but I had to convince him that it was allowed. Uh, <laughs> and like it. So I'm really glad that you guys liked the wink. Uh, and also, because, you know, Connor, when he goes to his mind palace, is, uh, you know, blinking, and I thought oh, it would be fun to do uh, humanize him a little bit. Um, and now we're going to have a winking emote. Uh, another fun fact about this is that uh, early in the animation build, there were, um, you know, they were adding all of these pigeons that would fly around the room, and they move, of course, depending on where you are in the space, sets them all into flight. And the animators had fun, and I, maybe they still have this. If anybody at Quantic Dream Animation is watching right now and want to post this video, knock yourself out. But they replaced all of the birds with Connors, so that when you walk into the room, like a bunch of Connors would fly up into the air and scatter throughout the space. Like, were they like, is tiny? That birds with faces on them? No, like the Connor model, but little tiny ones, and they're floating all around. This is just, I don't know, this is how animators uh, entertain themselves, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and another fun fact is that uh, Hank punching me across the face was also improv. Me and Clancy, yes. Me and Clancy had a lot of fun. If there's any time I got to improv in this game, it was with Clancy, and it was because we just slowly started going deviant. And David Cage <laughs> was like, no, don't do that. And we're like, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> and they took so many takes, we figured you know we can probably uh you know get away with doing one or two just for us but clancy gave me a little a little uh wink before we did that and i could tell he was gonna throw that punch at us but david and uh benjamin dibling thought i really got punched across the face when we did that take 